Hello Charlie Boys out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my last few days of the week, so that's my Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. On my Wednesday evening I got back from an evening work shift and I was absolutely knackered and a little bit grumpy and I got cheered up by my older sister ordering myself a subscription from this guy who makes socks and illustrates them and his dad makes them and they are just so funky it's as i say cool and funky socks delivered to you monthly from downstream entrepreneur thomas he's an entrepreneur, entrepreneur such a tongue twist of a word to say and it's from thomas2.com tom2.com and yeah i love socks and he says thanks for being a member of my subscription club each of I pick my favourite pair of socks to send them to you as a surprise. I hope you like this month's pair. These socks are available to only us. They're not on his site. They're only for the subscription members only, which I am now one of them. And he says enjoy them and he can't wait he can't wait for us to have the next pair that he's been working on, which I am very excited for. And I'm going to show you guys this. I can't even speak. I'm so excited. I literally haven't seen these yet. And yeah, I've now just seen them. And these are just so adorable. Look at them. Elephant socks. I love. I love elephants. And then these pair here, which are pizza and chips and hot dogs, which I love. I mean, he doesn't have a good hot dog or burger or pizza and chips. And yeah, these, these are just so lovely. Then I watched you know, UK soaps and had my tea. I just had some Marmite toast and a cup of tea. Put my work clothes in the wash for the next day. And I got showered and put my PJs on. Wrote the last bit of my journal and put that away. I then watched UK soaps and Love Island. And then I went off to bed. Then on my first day, I got up ready for the day ahead. I got showered and changed, had some breakfast, listened to a bit of music, watched some TikToks and vlogs. My dad was at work, he went off fishing with my uncle. Older brother and sister are now off work for the summer as they work in the primary school, which is now off for summer, lucky devils. So my older brother had gone off to the gym, younger brother's at work, younger sister was at hers, and my mum and myself were done just watching a bit of TV, watching a bit of Midsummer Murder, listened to some music, and then for my lunch I had some cucumber sandwiches and a cup of tea and watched a bit of Father Brown, did some illustration work and a bit of writing and some drawing and colouring in, played with one of my beat up dolls and then my older sister came and picked me up and went off to go to see the new musical Into the Heights which I've seen a trailer for and it looks amazing so I was very excited to go see that and so me and my older sister went off to the mall as she had to drop a dress off first that she had to return and then went off and got to the cinema. She bought the tickets so I bought the snacks and I got a Fanta and a massive like bottle like, uh, like a, a um, cardboard like drink of that and filled that up to the brim and then got some Maltesers and some sweet popcorn we then went on and watched the movie and it was so good. I absolutely loved it. The songs were so good. The main actor who plays the main guy has really lovely green eyes. Gorgeous. And yeah, it was a really good musical. Went really quickly. And then getting into the cinema, I don't know why, but I like I tripped over like three times and then coming out of the cinema, I tripped over even more. I always find when going to the cinema, I always get really tired afterwards because of course the lights are off and it just made me feel really tired. We then had to go off to Asda to do some bits and bobs and stuff in there. We then made our way back home and my old sister went off home. I ended up having a nap as I had a little bit of a headache. And then for tea, I just had these chicken filled pastry things, which were pretty nice. I then was watching the Aussie soups. I wrote a bit of my journal. This is some music. My dad was then back from being fishing, younger brother back from being at work, and my older brother back from being out with his mates. And then I was just listening to some music, doing a bit of colouring, read a bit of the Marvel Society, and had some biscuits and a cup of tea. 
I then watched the UK soaps and watched Love Island. And finally, Love Island has woken up and got very, very dramatic. Love it, loving the drama. And yeah, I just can't wait for tonight's episode. I went off to bed and it's now Friday, end of the week, guys. And I got up, got a shower and changed, had some breakfast. My dad was sorting of stuff on, he was at work and then got back and was just sorting of stuff on the house. Older sister was at hers, younger sister at hers. Older brother got up and dropped me off to work. I got to work, I got clocked in and was just serving lots of food and drinks. And one of my colleagues who hasn't seen me for ages because she was having to isolate is now back. So it was really nice to see her and we had a really good catch up. And she was really impressed with how well I've come on with my till skills. And yeah, it was really good. I was serving food and drinks stuff out in the centre, cleaning tables and chairs. I saw one of my older sister's school friends who I hadn't seen in ages so it was a very nice chat with her and yeah it went really well the weather has been very lovely as well and we're supposed to be getting thunder and lightning storms tonight into tomorrow so that should cool it down as I'm working again tomorrow and I did nine till three and had a few fresh OJs which are so good and I paid for those got clocked off said goodbye to my team and I was like I'll see you guys whenever we're working together next because there's so many of us and I then went off and got myself a mint chocolate frappe which is so good and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. They're so delicious, absolutely love that coffee place which my touch rugby teammate owns and ones and it's just so good in there had a nice chat with the owner and we didn't have touch rugby last night because it was just so hot and i'm so glad we didn't because it's just it's just too warm and so i was just like see you next see you on thursday or being well hopefully it's not cold again because it's supposed to still be very warm despite it raining hopefully it cools it down a little bit fingers crossed i then got text when i said i, I text home to say it that I was going to be walking home from work and my mum's like we're well, going off to my grand our grandpa's house so the, the the door would be locked so I thought I'll just meet you there after getting the frappe so after getting my frappe I then went and had a look in the flower shop where I saw not one but two of the other slaves used to work in the second department at the second school I went to so I had a really nice chat with those two who I hadn't seen in ages and they just asked me all about my family and about work and everything like that so it's really nice to see them. I then got some flower snaps that I'm going to show you guys now. I absolutely love it in that flower shop. It's just so lovely in there. I had a nice chat with the owner as well. I then made me down to my grandpa's house where my dad was cutting the lawn. Nice stripes in the grass now, looking very nice. And I had a cup of tea and a good sit down. My feet were aching and I actually just wanted to go to sleep. And I was chatting to my grandpa. He's got like bad legs at the moment. So of course they've been bandaged up by the nurse that had to come in and so he was feeling a bit sorry for himself so i was just having a nice chat with him and then we got back home my dad was sort of stuff on the house and my older brother was back from being out at the mall and got a few bits and bobs and my younger brother just got back from work and he's going off out with his mates to play football and then probably go to the pub and then i was just writing a bit of my journal and i got my work router the other day i'd written them down in my journal so that I knew when I was working and now we've had to redo the rotor somehow for some reason so I'm not sure when I'm working next. I know that I'm working Saturday but I don't know about next week. I hope I'm off Sunday because I'm seeing my uncle and auntie and cousin from Alton near London on Sunday so hopefully I'm not working then, fingers crossed. And I'm just waiting for the updated rotor now and then I'm going to be going off and watching the Aussie soaps Writing a bit of my journal, just a bit of music, might even go in the pool because it's so hot and I literally feel like I'm melting. 
and yeah i hope you guys have all had a great week all have a lovely weekend ahead and i shall see you in the new vote very soon bye